I mean, I don't get why this camera is so expensive. I mean, that's only 20 megapixel. That's no in-body stabilization, and hell, that's no selfie screen. But it can do this. It has 16 FPS, two more than D6. This is crazily fast. 16 FPS faster than a lot of mirrorless camera. Not to mention over 1,000 shots of buffer, so you can keep on this for over a whole minute. Best of thanks to Photo Living for letting me play with the brand new 1DX Mark III. Not more just speed, speed is laughing if without accuracy. This has 199 AF points with 155 of them are cross type and all of them focus down to F8. Means that you can use teleconverter, really useful for sport and wildlife photographer. Now the last 1DX Mark II only got 61. 199 AF points on the DSLR, that's quite something. To fully test the AF, I set all priority to release and speed using expand area focus points. All these photos were shot at maximum f2.8 aperture, try to push it to its limit. Now, one thing using DSLR or some body, I'm sure Lecon fanboy would say that oh, Lecon got a better 3D tracking because the Canon when it, when I using this, I really have to put the center point in right at the subject. If I miss it, it will focus on the ground. But when I use the Sony A6400 before, because it's a, it got an active tracking, yes, that's something when mirrors do better than DSLR is the tracking. Here, I failed to keep the bike at the center a bit, plus a few distractions in front and the close distance for the 7200 f2.8. I'm not sure I can blame the focusing system. You can also use live view with the on sensor 2 pixel AF system. Live view is go up to 20 FPS. So it's basically a mirrorless. It basically Canon go <laughs> saying to Sony kind of like take that your A9 only go up to 20 FPS in the electronic shutter. This 20 FPS mechanical shutter, it's just faster than any other full frame mirrors. Actually, there's not many full frame mirrors out there, but it's faster than Sony. I think shooting in live view, sometimes it's just a little bit not consistent. Here, it starts to lose focus, even the bike is in the center. Sometimes it do a great job in live view, but here when I lost the bike out of the focusing zone, instead of focus on the ground, it went the other way, don't know why. But then it slapped back to focus just a few frames later. Alright, I was just showing you if you don't track it right. <laughs> I mean, I, of course I can do it. Here, when I get serious, the Canon AF is unreal. Even the subject got completely blocked after it reappeared for just two frames, it slapped back to focus. Two frames equals like 0 0.01 second. Recent years, rapid development of mirrorless camera may make you think DSLR is falling behind, but 1DX Mark III is canon trying to say how wrong you are. The one thing should be obvious is the size, and with the size, it gives you a really good grip. Uh, like landscape or even vertical, the grip is great. And I think it's pretty obvious, but if you haven't hold one, you should try to hold one because it is so great to hold. If you ask me to describe it to someone who haven't ever touched one, it just feels like you're holding a power tool. That kind of confidence, that kind of confidence it gives you, it feels like a hardware tool and it feels like it feels like so solid you don't really mind that you, you bump in bump it into things. Now same as the last 1DX Mark II, this only only got 20 uh, megapixel because it's a well it's a sport camera, it's for sport, it's for wildlife, it doesn't really have to be so high megapixel 30 or 40 megapixel and that's why they can keep it to be so quick. I actually not just keep it, it even 
faster than the One DX Mark II. Well, it should because it's newer. Now the body itself, a lot of things is really similar to the last One DX Mark II, like these customizable buttons. Two of them. I mean, there are four, but two for landscape shooting and two for vertical shooting. Now the back, you can say is roughly kind of the same, but there's a new kind of AF on button. Canon called it a smart controller, which doesn't really tell what it what it do. Smart. In fact, this is actually like a really small touchpad, it, and when you're using it, it's kind of like those back in the day, so BlackBerry phone. Do you remember? Blackberry. I think sometimes it's a little bit too sensitive, but you can get used to it and then it do scroll really quickly, much quicker than this. But smart controller. I bet if it was 10 years ago they would call it eye controller or something like that. And now it has two uh, CF bar no C bar no C C <laughs> it's written there. CF Express! Two CF Express card which is basically the same size of a QXD card but it's faster than QXD which is but it's not QXD so it's v C fast no CF Express but yeah uh, yeah alright this can take 5.5k raw in, internally internally saving in the card which the other brand you have to use uh, HDMI output to uh, Atomus to get raw but this is really heavy but I mean yeah if you really want to use 1DX Mark 3 to shoot vlog. Yes, you can. Somebody else did it. Uh, Peter. Peter do it for vlog 1DX. But then if you really want to shoot raw for vlog, um, you better buy a 128 gigabyte card and it, on, it will fill up the card in 6 minutes. So it better be quick. But if you are those you really want to shoot slow motion 4K, 50, 60, uh, you can with this, but you have to shoot it with a little bit crop. If you shoot it with full frame, 4K, 50 or 60p, it's, uh, it don't have AF at all. Manual focus. I have to say, editing Canon RAW video in File Capital X is so easy with their official plugin. It's just like editing an usual H.264 file, but take, just take a lot more CPU power. You may need to tweak your settings or wait for rendering. Now even the 1DX Mark III is so mighty, you can't deny that mirrorless has its advantages on using the whole sensor to do AF tracking and AI machine learning is going to be the next big thing. But consider this, Canon has just shown that they can do 20fps burst with mechanical shutter, Canon has dual pixel AF, and they has the guts to say no more new EF lenses. Canon released the 1DX Mark II for the last Olympic. 1DX Mark III for this Olympic. The next Olympic, we may not see 1DX Mark IV, but what a beast EOS R will we see? Before I end, I want to share a discount code from NordVPN because they are the sponsor of this video. Uh, why would I start using VPN? Maybe around half a year ago, I started using VPN because just because I want to watch the Big Bang Theory in Hong Kong. Back then, it's not available in Hong Kong. But also, whenever I'm outside using public Wi-Fi in cafe, in hotel, I never feel safe. And also, even at home, do you know some of the internet provider actually sell your browsing history? It doesn't help even if you use private mode in your browser. I mean, even if you have nothing to hide, why give away your valuable personal information to criminal or to the government? I'm using NordVPN now as it's easy to use and it's fast. I'm using it on my Mac, on my iPhone and iPad and of course it works on Windows and Android. Now you can use this code or go to this address to get 70% off from a 3 years plan and additional 1 month free.